So this is a rough 3D model of the home. Uh, some features are a little out of date, like I'm going to change the way these retaining walls look so I don't get such large lifts. But I wanted to use it to show the, to illustrate these step footings. And the engineer specified these step footings to go from the lower level footings in the basement up to the main level footings in these steps. And it's a two to one uh, step ratio. Now after meeting with everyone at the excavation and uh, they didn't like the way that this looked and they didn't like the slope, I also met with the building inspector and it turns out he doesn't like this slope either. So I told him about the doweled footing idea. and He was okay with that pending a couple little changes. So here's what he wants to see. We'll get rid of, well let me just close off most of this model. So we'll get rid of these steps and instead run the main level footings all the way into the basement wall and dowel them in. But he would also like to see that when we initially form this lower footing, he would like us to have put some footing tips in. So just basically extend the footing uh, about a foot in that direction. And then when we build this basement wall, he would like us to include columns in the wall. So essentially I'm just going to extend this wall out, but stop it at a lower height at that one section, and we'll just shot create it along with the rest of this wall. Shot creates very, very high strength. And of course the same thing on, on this side and everywhere else where these footings meet up with the, the side over here. I also asked the building inspector if he had any concerns about building these footings over unengineered backfill. And he said as long as it's not spanning more than two foot, it's okay. However, since this does span more than that, uh, we'll probably have to do something to take care of that properly.